What's going on and welcome back to another adventure. In today's episode, we are headed up to the mountains to do a little bit of trout fishing. We've been so busy with the van and my day job that I decided today is beautiful Saturday, one of the last 80 degree days here in Oregon. We're gonna go up to the mountains and just enjoy the day. I'd like to catch a couple of fish and then bring them back and do a little catch and cook. I haven't posted one of these videos since the very beginning of my channel and you can't actually find most of them anymore. They are privated. I originally started this channel to get outdoors and show you guys all my various recreational hobbies that I like to do. Fishing is a huge hobby of mine and I haven't been able to do too much of it. So I think today is the day we're gonna finally get back out there, catch some fish, bring them back to the house, cook them up, make an awesome meal, and some awesome content for you guys. Don't worry, the build content is still coming. We're in the process of painting the Dodge van, and let's say we ran into a couple of problems. That video is still going to come out. I'm just going to release it once it's actually finished and I can show you guys how awesome it actually looks. Right now it's looking a little bit sad, but I have a vision and it's going to come out awesome. So let's take the Forerunner up into the mountains and find a creek to fish in. So what I'm bringing down to the creek in this bag is some live bait, we got some night crawlers, that should do the trick, plus some other spinners and things like that. So let's try to get down to this pool safely. It's pretty slick, we've gotten a couple of rains. You just have to take it nice and slow. And that's why we're taking it slow. <laughs> yeah, it's slick, man. Good thing my pole is in that nice hard case. It's not the best pole, but oh, it's really convenient to bring around. It's the Shakespeare Wild Series. Came with this nice durable case. All right. It's probably hard to tell on camera, but this pool is super deep and I already see a couple little guys swimming around. We caught our first fish. It's an awesome looking little rainbow. I'll try to get him back into the water safely so he can grow up and get a little bigger. Let's catch another one. Another little micro trout. The colors on this one are awesome. The colors on this one are awesome.
practically slid straight down this, so need to be careful climbing back up. Well, I've been wanting to come check this spot out for a while. I'm not disappointed, although we only caught some small fish. It's pretty beautiful. So I think we need to head back down the mountain just a little bit. Maybe find a pool with some larger trout. First cast in this new pool. I already see something going for it. A couple of little trout again. better. Nice. Alright, well I bet he's got some friends under this tree as well. Let's see if we can catch another one. I think we got another okay size. Nice. Yeah, I'll take this all day long. This one's a, a lot bigger. Oh yeah. Now that's what we're talking about. Good football shape. This one looks really healthy. Got some cold river water in there. Help keep them fresh. Let's get this back out there. Check out this beautiful trout. All right, so that's gonna be three in the box. We need two more, that'll be our limit for the day. And we'll go back to the house and cook some of these trout up. All the fish that I've caught today have been raised in a hatchery and then planted into this creek or in the reservoir down below. The way you can identify if a salmonid, so a trout or any type of salmon, has been raised in a hatchery, if you take a look here near the caudal fin, also known as the tail fin, there's this little bump and this is where the adipose fin usually is. Now these get clipped in a hatchery to let you know and help you identify when you've caught a hatchery raised fish. This is helpful if a fish is endangered and you're only supposed to catch hatchery fish. But as for these rainbow, the limit is five per day and at least eight inches in size. So here we have number four. All we need is one more and we'll hit our limit for the day. This is gonna be an incredible place to take the van once it's completed after the winter. I can definitely see myself hanging out in our solar cabin on wheels and catching some trout down at the creek and bringing them back up to camp 
cooking them. It's gonna be an awesome time next summer. We have rainbow number five. Another nice small trout. Five rainbows in the bucket. Here we have our catch of the day. Five good sized rainbows for this creek, that is. Not entirely sure what we'll do for dinner with these guys, but definitely save a couple for the smoker, and I'm gonna make some smoked rainbow trout dip. So stay tuned for that one. So we're back home from the river and I've decided I'm going to brine all five of those rainbow trout and show you a couple different ways you can go about smoking them. So what we have here is about a one to one ratio of brown sugar in just some normal table salt. And we're gonna take our fish out of the cooler full of ice and lay it down on some paper towel dry it off of any cooler water. And now we are gonna butterfly this fish. So now we have all of our trout laid out in this Pyrex dish and we've dried them down with some paper towel to get any of that extra moisture out. We can add some of this brown sugar dry brine to the bottom. Just gonna give it a nice final mixture. The mixture of sugar and salt is gonna draw out all the moisture and really dry out this fish. Placing this meat side down, skin side up into the dish, and taking that excess on the sides and sprinkling it over the top. And now we're gonna set this in the refrigerator cupboard overnight until we're ready to smoke it in the morning. We let this sit overnight, and this is what it's looking like now. So we'll take these out of here and rinse any of the brine off of it, and then we'll put it on a wire rack to dry and develop a pellicle. What I like to do is just add a little bit of black pepper to the top of this, just sprinkle it on there before we smoke it. And while this is on the smoker, we have a habanero relish that we're gonna put on top of it. And we're gonna let this sit on the counter and develop a pellicle for I don't know, maybe an hour or so. All right, so these have been smoking for maybe closer to an hour and a half to two hours. As you can see, we got quite a bit of smoke in there. But these are looking good. We've cold smoked them for a while and we're gonna turn the heat up. We're gonna add some habanero relish. And we're gonna add a little bit of maple syrup to that. Add a little bit of sweetness, just a little bit. We'll mix that together to make a spicy, sweet little glaze. Just after a few minutes of heat, these things are looking caramelized. We're gonna make a little smoked trout dip. Some green onions, some Philadelphia cream cheese, and this awesome habanero smoked rainbow trout. I'm gonna take this single package of cream cheese. Let's try a little bit. 
Wow. That's really good. So we got all the trout in there that we could with some cream cheese. Now let's add this green onion. Look at that. Five trout went into this. Mmm. Got a loss of words. That is just insane. Well, it was a super fun day up at the creek. Caught a lot of fish, saw a lot of beautiful things, left with an awesome snack to have throughout the week now. If you want to see more catch and cook content, let me know down in the comments below. I want to thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.